What up, what up, Blunt Radio? Made it play speaking. I'm with MMAPR. Y'all out of Denver right now. What else are y'all? Y'all got more than one place, right? Because I see y'all ads all the time in papers. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. We're, uh, we're actually in uh, Denver and uh, uh, the whole Colorado region, actually. And now we're going to New Mexico next week. Oh, y'all taking it on this road trip, huh? That's right, road trip, baby. That's right. Tell, them, who, tell them your names and where they can find y'all at. I'm John with MMAPR. John with MMAPR. And uh, you can find us on uh, MMAPR.org. And this is Vincent. Howdy. So uh, MMAPR stands for uh, Medical Marijuana Assistance Program of the Rockies. And uh, we're currently developing a network throughout the Rocky Mountain uh, region to provide, uh, to basically make alternative treatment affordable. Okay. So when you said alternative treatment, that means if somebody's having a problem financially or something, you'd be like, you'd be able to help them out trying to live for certain like cancer patients or AIDS patients and things like that. Exactly. We uh, we aim to actually work with the worst of the worst. So uh, you know we actually the way we work is first we qualify people off of income base. So it goes on a sliding scale from twenty five thousand all the way down to zero. Okay. And uh, discounts run incrementally parallel with that program to, to reflect a thirty forty to fifty percent discount as you make less money. Uh, we also work with the board directors. Uh, between the states of New Mexico and Colorado who review those applications and ensure that we are providing uh, services to those most in need. So we do, we do identify those with cancer, with pa uh, glaucoma patients, people who, who are the worst of the worst of the people that we need to get this out to. And then as we, as we strengthen, and uh, we will form coalitions that, that, that essentially need that No patient left behind. So that's something like the health care. So the health care added medical marijuana I went all the way back to that plan. I don't know about y'all, but I think, you know, the health care plan, they want everybody to have affordable health care. Well, we would like affordable medical marijuana health care. And I know I'm a patient and a caregiver, and I know I give edibles away to certain patients that I know are indigent, and I know that it helps them sleep. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, and we don't just work with dispensaries. So when we, when we say alternative treatment, we work with anybody who is a naturopathic doctor physicians, we have acupuncturists, massage therapists, uh, yoga instructors. We want people to be able to take a proactive approach to their health to and get therapy. better. Yeah. So we look at uh, medical marijuana as just a spoke in the wheel to alternative treatment okay. and being the remedy. So we want to work with, with anyone who uh, believes in uh, uh, proactive healing through self-awareness and through uh,